everybody hear me? Yes, yes sir. How <laughs> <laughs> can we not? <laughs> First, I want to give praise and honor to the Creator of all worlds and all things. For without the Creator, nothing would exist. Next, I'd like to give honor to our ancestors. For without them, we would not exist. And I also want to give honor to Prophet Noble Drew Ali, who brought the Moorish movement to the shores of North America. For those of us who came through the middle passion. Now I need, in order to continue, I need the permission from the oldest person in the audience. If you're 55, all those who are 55, raise your hand. 55 to 60. 60 to 65. There's an elder in the back there, and we need your permission to continue. You may speak. I want to say, Ma Hotep, Aboragani, Salam Alikum, Shalom, and whatever other greeting you may go by. I'd like to greet you in love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. I am Chief Talani Rafaro L, and I want to welcome you all to the Unity Washita Morris Science Republic of New Kemet monthly informational series. For those of you who are not aware of Unity Washita, it is a clan of a 155 clan or tribe confederation with 365 clans or tribes in total. With some of those looking to come aboard the confederation. We are the indigenous Americans or black Indians, who was always here. We can trace our story back to a Mexican or the Euro name at this time was Pangea some 26 million years ago. A Mexican and Pangea is when the earth was all one landmass before there was a, a breakaway of uh, Africa from South America. And the earth was all one landmass. The elders say we were here before we was in Africa. Again, I say over 26 million years ago. We became Moors through, during com through doing commerce and intermingling with uh, those who came to this landmass from Africa at a much later date somewhere around 1300 B.C. That is the start of the Moors coming to this particular land. There was always a mixing of the indigenous Americans and the Africans who came here. Those who came through the Middle Passage and were slaves were slaves side by side with the indigenous Americans. 
because you can't tell us apart. We all look the same. The Native American is a mongoloid who came through the, Ber the Bering Straits up at Alaska from Mongolia about 20,000 years ago. These would be the ones that you see in the cowboy movies and what happened, like the Apache and the Sioux. We were here, we greeted them when they got here. We were already here. The Europeans, or the Caucasoid, has tried many ways to uh, do away with our history, to wipe us out of history, so that no one would know of our existence. We are recognized worldwide as a nation. The Empress down in Louisiana and the council just got 68,000 acres of land returned to them in Louisiana from the U.S. government. We did that through the United Nations, which recognizes us as a nation, just as any other nation. Land has also been returned to those on the East Coast, the Wapakonar Aboriginals from the New England and Connecticut area of the United States. They have recently won back a great deal of land, along with many other Aboriginals in the Northeast. This is because of a little known law that was passed in 1795 stating that a federal government official had to be present in all purchases of aboriginal land. If one was not present, the sale was considered null and void. Many of those in the eastern seaboard have won back land as a result of this little known law. Some have built the largest and most profitable casino in the United States. So at this time, I want to give recognition to uh, our Vice Chief, El Amin, for his dedication to the Moorish Movement and for creating this gathering that we have here today. And Brother El Amin is back there at the camera. Brother El Amin, Raise your hand. Let's give him a big round of applause. <clears throat> we have three speakers for today. We have Brother uh, Amin Ra Bey. Brother El Amin, and brother, our keynote speaker will be Brother Sutro. At this time, I'd like to bring up our first guest speaker, Professor Amin Ra Bey is an independent author, a pan-African metaphysical researcher, and natural philosopher. Amin Ma'at Ra Bey has been an appointed professor of the Moorish Science Republic of New Kemet for over four years. The title of a professor is exclusively sanctioned through the Moorish Science Republic of New Kemet. I'd like for everyone to give a round of applause for Professor Amin Ra Bey. 